song number three on today's music scene investigation let's throw it over to the guys find out what they thought paul what did you think of uh track number three uh mm. this is a difficult one because it is it's someone who's tried really hard to present something in a non-demo format and made the fatal mistake of making it sound more like a demo than ever by doing it too much um it's it's a demo with with strings um and to be honest they always make me stop listening because it's like can i can you let me hear the song please because you're not the producer here and it sounds a bit kind of cheap 
but layered to disguise the cheapness. Now, massive mistake that lots of people with home studios make. And they were listening to our headphones in their own thing and going like, oh, man, this sounds like an orchestra. And no, there's only one thing that sounds like an orchestra, and that's an orchestra. So don't do it. Please don't do it because it just scares me away. And the other thing about it is I really like the key changes into the chorus. I really like the melody in the chorus. But the lyrics and the delivery of the vocal left me thinking that this would be a song that someone else would sing a lot better. Now, I don't mean to disrespect the guy who's written the song don't like the lyrics in the verses because they're almost like I won't say schoolboy poetry but it's kind of pedestrian from a point of the whole thing is obviously trying to do an anthemic thing and a, a big it's almost like one of those world uh, world beater songs but you're singing about your wife and your kids I, I don't care sorry give me a big story if you're going to sing a big lyric and the delivery of the vocal, it's the guy's really on the edge of nearly being a soul singer, nearly being a rock singer, not quite cutting it for me. That's, you know, I'm being really blatantly honest, which is, I know that's what you want me to be. Absolutely. I just, I don't, I don't hear the quality of performance and I don't think it's anything that's going to be by, by production or work or whatever is going to make that a voice that the song deserves you know there's there's things within it uh, like i say the chorus not the hook of the chorus but the melody of the chorus great and i think some of those if you leave back all i said about there being the string sounding cheap and, and it all sounding you know like the guitars don't sound like quality guitar sounds that's well played and everything but if you if you leave that aside and say yeah it is a demo where the guy's trying to say what he would like it to end up sounding like so we accept it's not going to get radio play in that format that's all cool but the lyrics need to change for me i think the melody's fine and i think the actual arrangement's fine from the point of putting it together it just needs new words and a different singer all right paul i appreciate that thank you so much now let's find out what ian thought ian uh track number three yeah, I have to agree with Paul on the strings. Like they, they niggled me a little bit. They, the, for, for the rest of the track, I mean, there was some nice bits going on. The acoustic sounds are nice. The electric sounds are nice. The drum machine loop that had been used was had a nice groove to it and a nice feel to it. Um, but those strings did spoil it a little bit for me. I mean, as far as the singer goes, I think, you know, looking at direction he's going to go, if he has written this song purely for the fact of his wife and child, then I think he's done a very good job of writing the lyrics and, um, and and the delivery as well. I think, you know, I mean, if we're going to look at the three tracks tonight, I think it's probably the best delivered track he's actually tried and put some feeling into it. Um, yeah, it yeah. The, performance, the performance was a tad edgy. Um, it, as, as Paul said, it was bordering on being sold, it was bordering on being rocking, and it, it didn't, really gel in places but I mean I do think he, he put in a very good performance and was trying if if the purpose of the song is for his wife and child if it is for commercial reasons then yeah it's not necessarily a lyric that's, that's going to sell a lot of records yeah I um, absolutely agree with that yeah I mean what's happened this week have all the backing singers gone on strike yeah <laughs> as, as everyone noticed this there's a, a distinct yeah. lack of back vocals on, on all these tracks and people will and massive remember. layer of everything else. Yeah, I mean, it's, you know, you don't have to hire in a bunch of four girls to come and sing your backing vocals. You can do it yourself. You've got your layering in, in whatever door you're using. You know, and try and put some harmonies down, even if it's just double-tracking the melody sometimes. You can bring emphasis to a point and, and give the, the track a rounder sound. I mean, I did find the vocal mix on this a bit inconsistent. And I did find he, the vocal mix, the EQ wise, was sort of very high mid. It needs a round, a sound, a fuller sound on his vocal. Um, maybe a little less compression as well, just let him do his thing. Um, I think there is a good song here. I mean, yeah, if we're looking at a commercial hit, this isn't going to be it. But if this is written for his wife and kid, I hope they appreciated it because I think he's uh, put a lot of time and effort into that. Um, I liked the lyrics, just another face in the crowd, uh, living under a cloud. I mean, come on, we've all been there, we all feel it. 
Um, and it's something I can relate to for certain. Yeah, it's a bit cheesy. Yeah, it's a bit soppy. But, um, you know, it's something that goes through all of our heads at some point in time. All right, Ian. Yeah, oh, yeah, that, I think that hook was fine if, you, if the verses were different. All right. Yeah, I agree, yeah, I agree the verses were a little, little weaker than the chorus. All right. Yeah. Okay, gentlemen, Ian, thank you. And, Tommy, let's find out what you thought. Track number three. You know, I wasn't going to say anything until Paul said it. Um, this track would have done, been done and come across a lot better with a different singer. I think the singer really tried. He put his soul into it and everything, but it just didn't cut it. It was uh, at his edge of his range and whatever. There is an awful lot of good production going on. Um, the, the mix was very muddy, and I think if the, if, the, if the mix cleared up, maybe changed part of the arrangement. I like the arrangement, don't get me wrong, and I, I really like the chord changes and uh, the, melod the melody going over those chord changes. It was very interesting, and um, it, it, it just needs to really be tightened up overall, maybe a different singer, and I agree with Ian, um, you know, I, I guess all the background singers are at the Olympics, you know, it, it, it definitely could have used some uh, background, uh, lifting it up more, you know, maybe a change of tempo, maybe making it uh, a little funkier, or, or just, just, uh, it's it's like very it's borderline you know um it's it, it it's this borderline good demo um it gets across an idea but it would take a, a producer with a, a lot of imagination to really cut through everything to see that there is talent here and that it can be made into something but um I, I liked, I, I, like I said, I, I melodically and 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 uh, arrangement-wise, it was good. Uh, melodically, it was a excellent. I thought uh, the, the the counter melodies, or if you will, um, the way it floated over it. The singer really did a good job as as well as he could, but I do think it needed another singer. All right, Tom. No, I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Now, uh, let me introduce that track before we send it over to our panel. The uh, track name is called Under a Cloud by the group Rumor Den. Rumor Den with Under a Cloud. We appreciate them sending the track to Music Scene Investigation. And remind you, if you want to send a track into Music Scene Investigation, head to msi.icweekly.net or musicsceneinvestigation.com. Click on the Submit a Song at the top of the page. That's pretty much all there is to it. It's very simple. We hope to uh, see your track on the show sometime soon. Now, gentlemen, we have the task every week, and we put it to you again this week. You need to decide on a song of the week. So I'm going to let you all talk about it and, uh, and make forget, a decision. And don't forget for everyone to uh, make their voices known by being a witness to the show over at the Bill Witness page. I agree with you, so we appreciate yeah. them doing that, and uh, we appreciate you guys doing what you're doing as well. So, what do you think, gentlemen? Mm. Mm. That's a tough, it's a tough one this week. I, don't, I, I think overall, you know, despite uh, the, the guy probably wanting to beat me to a pulp because I've said nasty things, I don't, I, to me, it's, it's song number three, because it is the most complete, melodically, Agree with Tommy. No problems with the melody whatsoever. Uh, slight structural things, you know. Taking aside of it being a demo, there's a lot of really good stuff to work with in there, with a complete rewrite. But I think it's the most workable song of the night, um, if it were taken as a song, as opposed to being an act. I don't know. What are we judging on? I don't know. Well, I think from my point of view, I agree. It is number three. You know, we are ultimately an indie music show. And indie music, to me, doesn't always mean commercial. Um, mm -hmm. You know, it is a good track. It, it has its flaws uh, in, in the mix, in some of the performance. 
but overall, I think, it, as you say, it's the most complete track. It's the most melodic. Uh, it's probably the most thought out. Um, mm. So, yeah, I've got to go with number three as well. All right, Tommy? Well, who am I to argue with such great minds as, as Paul and Ian? But I'll try. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, I honestly uh, liked what went on in number three. And, um, like I said, yeah, like, uh, you know, the guy's going to drag me and Paul down an aisle, uh, a dark alley and beat us with bats. What do you mean I don't sing good? It's not that he didn't sing good. It's, it's, it's just the wrong song for him. And if he was writing this for somebody else who could kill it i mean i think we'd all be you know ecstatic over it and it does have the most workable format there's a lot that can be done with it it could be taken in vastly different directions and even with what's just there mixed better um the the strings sound a little thinner a little less money uh the vocal reverb could have been better and stuff. Um, it, 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 yeah, I've, I've already said it in the beginning, number three. All right, so there you have it, a uh, unanimous decision by our panel. It is Under a Cloud by Rumor Den as our song of the week this week on Music Scene Investigation. Ian, Tom, thank you as always. And uh, Paul, appreciate your being here with us as well. Great to be back. I tell you, you know, um, with a man as busy as you are, uh, we are hard-pressed to get you scheduled, and I, I certainly hope we can get you on again really soon. Yeah, let's, yeah, let's try and do it as soon as we possibly can. Um, hopefully let's when let's I'm do conscious. one live from the studio in Ireland. Uh, yeah, you'll be lucky. <laughs> 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 They've heard of the internet over there. <laughs> what time am I brought by be working yeah sometimes fellas it'll be fine let's have a drink <laughs> there you go <laughs> alright I appreciate it and want to thank everybody out in the audience as well remember that be a witness you want to make sure you get your vote in also want to remind you to join us next Sunday right here on Music Scene Investigation our guest panelist for then will be Mr. Bill Evans from the Live to Play Network. Going to have another great edition of Indie Inquest on Wednesday at 5.30 p.m. Eastern Time and 10.30 p.m. GMT. And uh, we look forward to seeing you then. But remember, if you can't make it then, come back on Sunday. We'll do this all over again. 4 p.m. Eastern, 9 p.m. GMT. It is Music Scene Investigation. Music.